From faculty to staff to students, North Central is a community. Our next story is about first-year business professor Bill Tibbetts, who just two months after arriving at NCU found out that his daughter, Ada, was diagnosed with a rare heart condition. This is the story of how the North Central community and God's grace helped the Tibbetts family through this trying time. Now we had just relocated to Minnesota from Indiana and uh, shortly after arriving here Ada started show, uh, showing signs of being sick and we took her from one doctor to the next. No one seemed to know what was going on or could figure out what was going on. And we found ourselves uh, at Children's Hospital downtown Minneapolis. I remember that day very specifically. I remember thinking, well, she's just got a bad virus. She has a bad cold. It was as if our life was a sheet of glass and it had just dropped and it just exploded everywhere. It just kind of felt like life fell apart. The only cure for, for what Ada had, which was restricted cardiomyopathy, was uh, the only cure. Uh, it was a heart transplant. They told us that she was on borrowed time. I mean, she was knocking on, on death's door. And one of us, I don't know who it was, but said, what are we going to do? We don't have anyone here. You know, I, I mean, it's my, it's my kid. You know, and, and as a husband, as a father, one of my primary roles is, is to protect my wife and to protect my daughter. And I was faced with something that I could do absolutely nothing about. Nothing. We were in the middle of the desert going through our worst crisis and we were just by ourselves because mm -hmm. we were new. We were new to North Central. Two months. Two, we hadn't, yeah, two months. We barely knew anyone at North Central. And, and that night, um, we sent out one email. I got in at 7.30 and I checked my email. And first thing, I had an email from Bill. And it was to me and Clint Watt and I think my boss, maybe one other person. And that one email uh, really started opening up communication for us. And and just then Clint Watt came in and he had just come from the hospital and he was like, oh my word, they need people, they want people to be with them because they don't have any family here. They're not from here, you know. So that feeling of we're in the desert, we don't know what's gonna happen, mm -hmm. was no more than just that one night. Right. That was it. It was gone. Everyone was a real blessing, but one that was a real blessing was um, Dr. Anderson, mm -hmm. present. Anderson and his wife coming to visit. They came his, twice. They came twice. But we went to St. Louis because we were told that um, the chances of us getting a heart donor there sooner were higher. Several doctors told us, you know, you'll probably be home by, mm. by the end of the year. Uh, we got down there in November and December came, <laughs> still no heart. Uh, January came, still no heart. And then, and then February came and uh, just kept on going. And so I found myself uh, flying back to Minneapolis uh, every Monday morning at 10 o'clock and then flying out Friday night at 5 o'clock every single week. CaringBridge is a website that kids or adults that are um, chronically or critically ill, you can write updates and then people can um, write on the guest book. And that was the only tie I had to North Central while I was gone. And it was a blessing. It was a blessing. I think half the campus was on Caring Bridge. I read that multiple times a day and posted now and again. The day that we got to call that a heart came in, um, I had just so happened to be back at school and it was just incredible to to be at North Central because news went out like that. Right now um, her heart's working really well. Um, she's on nine different medicines. I think her quality of life is extremely high. Um, she has more energy than she ever did. I don't know what we would have done if the family uh, and their family of North Central didn't surround us and love on us the entire time. And, 
that is why I love North Central so much. I mean, the caliber of people. There's quality people there. I think if anything, it's that. There's almost a palpable connection between our community and them now. They're ours. <laughs> North Central just hasn't wavered in their support. When I say support, I mean support in every way possible. Emotional, physical, spiritual. Um, they've walked with us from the very beginning. And uh, I am 100% convinced they're going to walk with us all the way through. They're, it's family. It's just, that's what it is. The North Central is our family now. When you receive an important tuition bill in your mail slot, put it in a safe place. All the information you need is on that paper. Don't call school three days before classes start asking why you're not accepted back. Instead, call mom and let her know you're coming home. Once you leave home for college, you're not really free. Don't believe me? Just try arguing with a 130 curfew. It's just my opinion, but it's true. Here's Adam Zivonovic with the A to Z on sports. Well, thanks, Kyle. Um, I'm here outside. The weather is beautiful. People are out playing in the parks, enjoying the lovely weather. Um, what you guys might not have known is that North Central Athletics has been going strong all year long. We've had a very good year with some teams going to nationals, competing very well. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick look at the year in review and see what North Central Athletics is all about. Um, we actually ended up doing really well in soccer this season. We started off strong in the beginning. We had a lot of strong freshmen come in this season and um, we ended up playing really well. We did very well against one of our rivals, Crown, so that was looking really good. In the middle of the season, um, we struggled a little bit and we kind of started to tie a few of our games, but um, we ended up winning our region, which was a big accomplishment for our soccer team because that sent us to nationals in Florida. Um, where we played some of the toughest teams in the nation and we didn't do too well at nationals but just making it there was a big accomplishment for our team. Hi this is Jay Bikley. I run cross country at North Central University. This past season both the men and the women made it to nationals again. The women won the championship and the men finished with a strong third and I'm really looking forward to running next year. It's going to be a lot of fun. My name is Ben Christensen and I'm the men's tennis captain here at North Central University. Uh, we've had an awesome first year just getting to hang out, have practice, and uh, go play tennis. And we've actually had a couple wins, won three different matches, and been in a couple others, lost a couple close, close ones, a couple heartbreakers and, and tiebreakers. Um, but we're looking forward to next year and continuing to build this new program here at North Central and uh, have fun in the process. Well, there's a look at North Central Athletics this year. Back to the beautiful Kyle Morgan for the rest of the show. For the whole cast and crew, I'm Kyle Morgan signing off. We hope you enjoy this edition of 10th in Chicago. <laughs>